What's going on guys? My name is Michael Claycomb. I'm gonna be fighting David Rivera, December 3rd, at the Commerce Casino for Fighters Up 16. When I got into karate, I was four years old. My dad brought me in because he had a dojo at the time and he raised me in the dojo. And at the time I was a kid, I didn't really, it didn't really mean anything to me. Um, I didn't start to appreciate it at, until I got older. Um, and now it's, it's my life. I don't think I'm ever gonna stop. The way I look at karate, like karate is like breathing. You don't think about it, you know, you just do it. And it's always gonna be something that I'm gonna hold very dear to me for forever. I've been doing tournaments since I was since four, all the way up until I was about 15. That was my last tournament. It was a big part of my life that I took a lot of pride in, and that's definitely something that transferred into what I'm doing now, right, with kickboxing at Fighters Rep. I was born in the city of Glendora. I lived there all my life uh, until I was 17 years old. Me and my family moved down to Covina, and that's where I'm currently living. Uh, life in Glendora was nice. It was very peaceful, uh, not much going on, very like intimate type of city, you know? Uh, when I was in Glendora, I didn't really have time for sports because I was busy doing karate the whole time. Uh, I did like to play basketball on my free time or soccer, but my whole life I've been doing karate, so when I was in school, not many people knew that I was in karate. It wasn't until I was like in high school that I started to like tell my friends. No one really tried to pick on me. Everyone was like kind of scared of me a little bit. Everyone kind of like was like, oh, like that's really cool. Like it was more like a respectful type of thing. I want to be a fighters rep champion. I want to be a professional fighters rep champion. I've been fighting for fighters rep for about a year now. I've loved it. It's been it's been awesome. It's just gotten better and better every single time. Uh, my opponent is David Rivera. I'm gonna go out there. I'm gonna fight, and I want to put on a great show. I'm gonna put my heart out into it. I'm gonna give it my all, no matter what. You might go out there and you might die, and if that's what it takes, that's what it takes. You know. If it's gonna be a scrap, it's gonna be a scrap. If, it, if I gotta get dirty to get the win, I'm gonna get dirty to get the win. That's just how I am. The only thing on my mind, it was just like, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go kill him. At the end of the day, like I'm going out there, I'm gonna put my life on the line, I'm gonna do what I have to do. If dying is part of that, then hey, that's what we're in the business for, right? David, December 3rd. It's gonna be all mine. I don't care how hard you train. I don't care how much you prepare, what you think you know about me. You don't know nothing. And it's okay. I'm gonna show you exactly what you don't know. Sugar Mom is gonna enter that ring and it's not gonna, it's not gonna be pretty. So buckle up. What's up guys? It's Mr. Sinister himself, David Rivera. I'm fighting Michael Claycomb uh, for Fighters Rip 16, December 3rd at the Commerce Casino. So what drew me to martial arts? To be honest, you know, I grew up watching uh, Power Rangers and shit like that. I just have a love for martial arts. I have a passion for martial arts. Um, if I wasn't competing, I would 100% still be doing it. Yeah, I just so happen to be good at it. So I'm kind of blessed to be able to pursue a career fighting. The first time I was like, yo, I should probably do this. My cousin, he's my older cousin, by seven years exactly, his same birthday as me. He fucked me up one time and I was like, yo, what the fuck did you do to me? He started doing jujitsu at that time. So he was teaching me a little bit in his like little garage. So me getting my ass beat by my cousin is what got me into jujitsu. Everything after that, I started just flowing into it. So I was born in Huntington Park, uh, South Central LA, and I was raised in San Bernardino, California. So for high school, the only thing I did was uh, wrestle my senior year. So my experience with wrestling as a senior, I got good pretty fast. I wrestled with one of the captains, his name's Mauricio Rodriguez. He used to whoop my ass the whole fucking practice. By the end of the year, I was pretty solid. As soon as that ended, I was like, yo, I gotta keep it going. I joined this club, it was called Cephas Karate Jiu-Jitsu. It was a karate mixed with jiu-jitsu. I did that for like a good year and a half. Went to college, I was a full-time college student. Things got kind of expensive. At that time, I started going to Pinnacle. I did that for probably close to a year or two. But once again, shit got expensive. So I kind of had to stop for like a good year and a half, almost two years. My first fight was 2017 for Fighters Rep. I was upstairs and I was like, yo, holy shit, I'm actually doing this. I'm about to fight right now. As I was walking in, I was like, yo, it's fucking go time. Bell rang, touched each other a little bit, threw a little push kick, boom, boom. I was like, damn, he just fell. I didn't even put too much force into that. We got into like a little scramble and triangled him. First round, 
Michael Claycomb. So he's fought one of my buddies before. His name's uh, Juan Banda. I wrote a little game plan on how to beat him. I have a good understanding of karate and taekwondo. He's going against me, and that kind of sucks for him. I'm a monster, man. My understanding of timing and distance is just, it's terrible for him. If you look at my record, I have a 100% finish rate. I always look for the finish. December 3rd, I'm going to keep my 100% finish rate intact. Doesn't matter, southpaw stance, orthodox, punch, kick, knee. I'm ending the fight, bringing the belt home.